It is pumpkin season, so I wanted to keep the pumpkin wheels rolling and share with you one of my favorite fall breakfasts. I'm Danny Spees, and for this quick bite, I'm making my pumpkin protein pancakes. Now this is not your typical pancake recipe. There's no refined carbs and they have a lot more protein. So it gives you a more long-term sustainable energy rather than that quick sugar rush and then drop you get from a more traditional pancake. Plus they make a great pre and post-workout snack for all my little gym rats out there. So what you wanna do is grab your blender and to that we're gonna add one cup of good old fashioned rolled oats, three quarters of a cup of egg whites, which is equivalent to six whites, a half a cup of low-fat cottage cheese, a quarter cup of pumpkin puree. Now, if you're using this from the can, make sure that you buy 100% pure pumpkin and not pumpkin pie filling. The cans can look similar and they're easy to confuse, so you just wanna watch out there. One teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. This is a combination of ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, all those yummy fall flavors. And one tablespoon of pure maple syrup. Then just pop the lid on and blend it up until it all comes together and you have a nice thick pancake batter. Now, if you wanted to keep the sugar department even lower in these pancakes, you could skip the maple syrup and just add a little bit of stevia. Hmm, perfect. Now, as far as cooking these pancakes, they cook up just the same as a traditional pancake. So I've got a nonstick skillet heating up over a medium low heat, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of coconut oil to that. You could use a little olive oil, some butter, or even a little cooking spray. Then you wanna add about two or three tablespoons of batter per pancake. I'm gonna be able to get four on this pan. Now, I like to make my pancakes a little bit smaller because one, my kids tend to like the little guys better. And two, I find that when I make them smaller, I feel like I get to eat more pancakes, which may sound strange, but it works for me. Now, once you see the edges begin to set and they even start to bubble a little bit, that's how you know it's time to flip the pancakes. So just get right underneath them and flip them over and they'll take another minute or so on the opposite side. What you're looking for is this nice golden brown color that we've got. And I found that the key to getting that color is not to crank the heat too high or keep it too low. You wanna look for medium, medium low heat and don't rush things. Then you just wanna keep on going until you've used up all the batter. Now this recipe makes two servings, and what I usually do is make a nice big batch, and then I cook them up and I put them in the freezer, which I'm gonna have a video for next week, so make sure you tune in. Then whenever you want pancakes, you just pull them out of the freezer, pop them in the microwave, and they are ready to go at a moment's disposal. Once you've got all your pancakes cooked up and ready to go, you've got lots of options. You could serve them with a little drizzle of maple syrup or try a spread of almond butter right over the top, or you could do my personal fave and give them one more little extra kiss of coconut oil. Mm. All about the pumpkin pie spice, guys. It's all those fall flavors, delicious. Now it's your turn. Do you guys have any ideas, tips, insights, or even questions when it comes to making pancakes? If so, I wanna hear all about it down in the comments below. And if you like this video, then like it. And even better, would you please subscribe and be sure to share it with all your friends because the more people that watch, the more our channel grows and the more videos we get to make for you. For more simple and nutritious recipes, tips, and ideas, be sure you check out cleananddelicious.com where you can print out all my recipes, create a personal recipe box, have a shopping list, and subscribe to my newsletter, which is really great because I share lots of stuff in my newsletter that I don't share in my videos, so you'll wanna be sure to put your name on the list. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees, and I'll see you guys next time with another Quick Bite. I'm Danny Spees, and for this Quick Bite, I'm making my pumpkin protein pancakes. Yummy!